Hi everyone, I'm Zara Durrani. I am so excited to be here on this beautiful, gorgeous day in Vancouver. And it's not raining, it's actually hot today. I'm here with my dear, dear friend, Teresa Nicasio. Teresa is a psychologist as well as a raw gluten-free uh, gourmet chef. And she just launched her amazing book, Yum. Can you see this? <laughs> yeah, that's from my launch. That's that's one of our launch cards. This is an amazing book filled with 180 recipes. All the photos in the book were taken by Teresa. Absolutely gorgeous. How are you doing today, love? I'm doing great, and and it's so nice to have the sunshine again. Yes, and I we were just talking about how we had this wonderful party and and how much love there was, and I I feel like that's I that's carrying me in, in a really wonderful way. So I'm tired because it was a very busy, busy weekend, but I feel this energy within me that just is just carrying me and, and it's just wonderful. Beautiful. Now you talk about, we were just talking earlier about yum living, Y-U-M, yum living. When I think, of, uh, think about it, it sounds like, you know, very delicious, you know, uh, looking, even I was, I was talking to you about this. When you look at the food, when you look at the photos in your book, everything looks like it's just right there and you want to eat it. Like you're making everything look so delicious. I want to like just jump into the book and eat everything. So talk to me about Yum Living and tell the viewers a little bit about um, what inspired you. Okay. Well, I want to start with the Yum Living piece and about what you're talking about that wanting to just jump into the into the picture because that's actually a big thing I'm wanting people to do and it's not necessarily about jumping into the picture of the book but it's actually about jumping into, into life so it's a metaphor yum living the book yum is a metaphor of living that invites us and invites you into this other world of, of delicious living where food is one of the pleasures but but also, it's about it's about you know the beauty that surrounds us. It's the beauty that's within us. It's the beauty within you. Mm. And with each of us has beauty inside of us. And so, Yum Living is about honoring who we are. We get so caught up in judging ourselves. We get so caught up in in how we're not good enough. We're not attractive enough. We're we're you know we're not smart enough. We're not anything enough. And that's just hogwash. And, and so with Yum Living, I'm wanting to help people to, to just throw away those, those ideas and embrace uh, the possibilities of being a child again and living fully and, and you know, enjoying the sensual pleasures. I mean, when you see a baby, the baby doesn't say, oh, I'm not good enough. The baby just says, ah, that's, <laughs> ah, right? And so the more we can have that, that, that sense of awe mm -hmm. in living, then we're just, we just do a lot better. And as a psychologist, I found that this is a way that, that actually helps with the healing a journey uh, that, to get rid of a lot of those, those beliefs that, that get in the way. It just frees us from that. So you're really bringing the whole mind-body connection. I mean, I think Absolutely. what's fascinating, I was talking to you about this, is that you are a psychologist, but you're also focused on, uh, you know, eating. The whole really full spirit, the mind-body connection, and that how we can actually to the foods we're putting in our bodies, we can actually change how we feel. Like that's something I've been yes. reading a lot about lately. Before I came here, even though I'm having my cup of coffee right now, I have my big kale smoothie. You know, I look at your book and I'm like, okay, it inspires me. It's this beautiful, gorgeous book. I wish I had it right now to show you, but it inspires you. Just having your book at home, it inspires you to include more fruits, include more vegetables mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. into. Um, into your da daily diet mm -hmm. and something you talk about which I love is progress not perfection so okay you know I mean whether you're vegan vegetarian pescatarian you eat meat whatever it doesn't matter it's like I love that about your book what inspired you to put that in there mm -hmm. well it's the all-or-nothing thinking is is uh, gets us in trouble so when we think, oh, we need to do all this or all that, then that, again, it, 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 it cuts us off from the wholeness of who we are. It cuts us off from each other. Mm -hmm. Now, we may still choose to uh, nourish ourselves with certain kinds of food. Wonderful. But it's not about shoulds or about the, that you need to do it to prove something or to be a certain way. It's just about letting it come from the inside. What, what works for you? What mm -hmm. feels right? What, um, you know... 
what speaks to you. And that idea of food as nourishment yeah. is what nourishes you mm -hmm. is going to be different than what nourishes me. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I eat fennel, I end up having to have a prednisone. I, ha I have to get medicated because I'm so allergic to it. But fennel's a beautiful food. Uh, and, and so there's nothing evil about fennel, mm -hmm. right? So it's about listening to our own uniqueness. Uh, but then we have the food that's nourishment. But then if we think about life, sunshine is nourishment. I know, Love like, is nourishment. Right you know, pleasure <laughs> is nourishment. Yeah. Gratitude is nourishment. And those are the pieces that, that I think get lost. And so the food, yes, is one way that we nourish. But it really is the metaphor of this larger picture of nourishing our souls and our bodies. I love that. And you know I've been working with you for the last little bit and we were chatting really about I get lost in the whole you know perfection like I want things this way you know I try to do my meditations my morning my evening but it's like I need the constant reminder and last week we had this chat over the phone you know and as soon as you said to me Zara relax it's not about perfectionism and I love that you put that in the book that you don't have to do everything perfect you know, and I and and not to call out anyone or say any names, but I find that sometimes when someone, whether it's with yoga or walking this wellness path or whatever, there's this. Um, I think it's in something inside of us that makes us, you know, want to be like, okay, it has to be like this, and any other idea is wrong. Mm -hmm. Right. You yeah, know. So, so we get like controlling and and judgmental, and, and yet life is too short. To be caught up with those things it's it's really too short for that so i say let go of that let go of the you know anytime you catch yourself with saying should uh that's a good sign to pause and and then ask yourself is this something i want to do yeah and, and the other sneaky should is is the word need if you say oh i need to do this i need to do that then i can pause and say is it what do i want to do right now yeah. Well, I mean, we're all, this is our, this is our culture. So, mm -hmm. so again, it's not about me being perfect. You know, you can catch me saying should multiple times a day probably. But it's a wonderful invitation. Uh, wow, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, talk to me. You were talking about responsible hedonism, oh, yeah. ethical hedonism. Tell us about that. Mm -hmm. What do you mean when you talk about that? Okay. That's one of my favorite things is, is, is I, I'm, I'm on a mission to help people be greater hedonists. And that surprises people because it sounds like selfishness. It sounds like, oh, self-indulgence. And it's actually about the nourishment. It's about what, what gives us life. Mm. What's life giving? How can we get as much pleasure as we well, can? I love that. What gives us life? Exactly. What gives us life? Mm -hmm. So if you put two and two together, mm -hmm. if you're putting foods in your body mm -hmm. that are growing from the earth, Beautiful. I mean, it's yeah. yeah. That's that's what. So yes. Yeah, so that's again the metaphor of that growing. If you're putting live things in your body, it's going to nourish life. If you're putting dead things in your body, well, you know, it's not the end of the world. You know, we, we, we all do what we do. But if we do too much of that, we're probably not nourishing life in the same way that we could be if we choose to bring more life. And but again, even emotionally. Mm. And and one of the things I I've uh, I'd love to talk about with this nourishing life and the hedonism is if there's something that you're enjoying like right now the sunshine is so beautiful and the and, and the trees are losing they're just changing form mm -hmm. is oftentimes we look at things in the world and then we we look at them and then we get back to business yeah but instead if we just take twice as long mm -hmm. to relish in that deliciousness of that image of that beauty of that savoring as you're drinking this coffee that when she when she brought it it had a little heart on it i love that just to like look at it twice as long and just bring it inside of you and 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 and, and appreciate it and that gratitude that what happens is we actually become more alive inside of us even separate from the actual food but then the food that we bring in i believe our body integrates it even better mm. because of that i love that and i think a lot of times you know I mean, even with this art, um, sometimes I'm known for being this social media nerd, I'll take a photo of it, but you said this at your book launch, perhaps hug someone a little bit longer. Yes. You know, take in this human presence of being here with this other person and thank you. So if some two little tidbits that you could give us, you know, just something 
two giveaways for our viewers who are watching that they can incorporate into their lives right now, today, this afternoon, what would they be? Mm -hmm. Well, just going with that twice as long concept, mm -hmm. it's so simple mm -hmm. that as you're going through the day, if there's something that brings you pleasure, maybe you see a child you know, smiling, laughing, playing in the sand, anything that brings you pleasure, if you see a little squirrel running up a tree or, or, or a, a friend smiling, like right now, you look so beautiful. It's like you can look at that person and, and look in their eyes twice as long, hug them twice as long. And so that's one really simple um, element. But the second is around that perfectionism and just carrying with, with that is whenever you catch yourself going through the day, oh, I need to do this, I should do that. That's fine that you think that. Don't, don't worry about it. Just pause, mm -hmm. take a breath, and then say, okay, what is it I want to do? And replace it with the word want. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't feel congruent mm -hmm. with what you really want to do, then maybe do something different. That's it. We have choices. That we is so choices. powerful. That is so powerful. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. Uh, if you haven't already, check out Teresa Nicasio's book. She had her big launch event. <laughs> Can you see this? There we go. Okay. Uh, the website is yumfoodforliving.com. Right here, yumfoodforliving.com. And this is the beautiful Teresa. Uh, her book is absolutely gorgeous. It's a big, it's this big, the biggest the book is really big and she's really talented with uh by a talented photographer you took all the photos i took all the photos and uh, ironically i'm not a photographer so i've never been trained in photography and i like to tell people that i don't even know how to keep the flash from going off i actually have to hold it down uh, that's how clueless i am but what i am is i, I allow my the vision of my world I, I share the world through my eyes and I love color and I love light and I love form and so I, I just without being perfectionistic I entered into this zone uh, with, with going into it and, and going really up close and, and inviting others into my world and that's what the photos are. It's, it's, very, it's a very personal sharing of, of how I see the world that I, I'd like um, uh, my readers to be able to enjoy. And it really shows. So. Visit her website, Teresa is on Facebook and Twitter, and soon on YouTube, so you can follow her. It's Teresa Nicasio, T-H-E-R-E-S-A, Nicasio, N-I-C-A-S-S-I-O. And I will talk to you soon. This is Ara Durrani.